Oftentimes in life, I draw upon the importance of remembering I don't just have a mother, but I also have a father. When training me to ride my bike, when I fell, both of them ask, are you okay? Or both help me to stand. Both of them taught me how to pray, how to use my imagination, and how to properly approach people while teaching me how to create a better legacy to our queens than what they previously held or were regarded as. We know that they used to run series of tests on females, which resulted in the woman being out front and the man behind and scared, calling them niggers and wetbacks when they're really a king and queens. Yet in his infinite power, God is raising up young and old men of color, those whom are and will restore the honor with women, and these groups will see and perceive the word and will of God, using sacred to manifest the images they once sought to destroy. Instead, it will create vessels and great individuals of honor, restoring legacy as far back as the sands are innumerable, fixing the noses of those whom they sought to destroy their likenesses of. Now, instead of submission to a breaking process, she submits to the healing and reinforcing of the consistency of such. She submits to the desires willingly. She, despite the tests, knows that the woman, the feminine, which symbolizes the being, feeling, spontaneous, it's the invitation, the playful, the beauty, the invisibility, or even the unknown, nurturing the community or the aspect of we, and receiving. And as the woman in chess is the queen or empress, is the most important factor of good economics, but a woman with a father and with the union of her man, who's the king or emperor, that is the key to beyond great economics. See, the woman's level-headed stubbornness, it's good. To those outside of the we, because where they would seek to once use the bullwhip or the disciplinary reason always fits the legal standard of the current time, but not the standard of time. They just saw the woman as an animal, a bitch. Produce capable offspring worthy of master's recognition and loyal to them, while forcing the father into a canine role of I among the community in a non-sacred way. But through God, we have been freed from such. The reality is that she is a God being, and her and the father teaches quadrality, and rear the youth to be educated and of heavenly and spiritually good, above Lacey, while still able to navigate to the top as managers. Victims of the breaking process, they only desire to be raised as laborers, changing from the latter. This enlightened mind is the reflection of Christ. Being civilized is showcased by how well they are able to communicate and comprehend to be a functional contributing member of society. That beginning in the home and utilizing that, the female with the male has unlimited protection and enlightenment, tendencies to raise their males and females according to the goals and paths of greatness which the family, male and female, has established. Nature has naturally provided this balance. We reverse the nature which they sought to pervert in the systematic destruction of the colored male, which reverses years of deception and replaces it with honesty, and the desires of progress and more. Now, the males have fought back and encourage and uplift each other, encourage and direct the children tending to matters, local and up to interdimensional, all while loving and being sound protectors and providers all in her presence, reversing the trend of being beat and dismantled. She's never had to be alone. She has accepted and understands the past situations now protected with the male image maintained. The, uh, the ideal move for her is to be in this interdependent fluid state. In this interdependent state, a good psychological state, the parents will raise the family and female offspring, the male and female offspring, in their proper roles without reasons to fear. They raise them to naturally navigate life's obstacles and be physically strong because they are psychologically interdependent. 
the females will be raised and trained to be the same. What does this mean? What this means is, you've got the male and female side by side, and El God completing them, together and courageous. This successfully reverses the breaking of the African woman, whom is mother of mankind, making them unfit as slaves and fit as leaders and providers. Because they also understand the masculine, doing, thinking, consistency, logic, discipline, awareness, direction, result-oriented, functionality, concrete, provider, individuality, or giving each half to the youth, creating a whole individual. When I fell, my mother and father picked me up and taught me of God existentially and within. They never wanted me to say that child would grow into the man discussed here today.